Hello there everyone, Zantok here with Select Star Gaming and welcome back to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Alright, so we are here at the Battle Resort, which means we can explore this area now, woo! This place is full of strong trainers, perfect for training. I'll get a lot of experience here and enter the Pokemon World Championships. That's my dream. We'll get to see what those are like in another game, eventually, in the future, somewhere along down the line. I really wish we could go under this bridge here, because that would be fucking cool. But no. Only strong trainers or wealthy people can come to this place. Either way, this is the place for a selected few. I really wanted to see the battles in the Battle Maze in live! So I begged and begged my dad to take me here! Sir, I am so sorry for your daughter. I'm old. I've been retired from training for quite some time now. But watching battles in the Battle Mason still makes my heart pound. Truthfully, um, I mentioned in the last episode that, like, I personally don't care much about the battle facilities that we get in the different games. Like, it's just not been something I've had much interest in. Ooh, camera change. But the Battle Mason is absolutely a poor, poor replacement for the Battle Frontier. I do have to really admit that. Society tends to expect that a man's value is determined by his income or looks right. My take is that a man's value is determined by how strong he is in Pokemon battles. This place is full of trainers who are good looking and strong. Perfect. Uh, that's weird. I may not look it, but I'm very confident in my skills in Pokemon battles. My favorite type, of course, is grass. Now, battle me. Uh, well, since I get to tell you no. Not general against grass. <laughs> Alright, I'll go all out. Plus, I mean, we used general a lot in the last episode, so I want to mix it up. Aroma Lady Carnation. Sending out Rose Raid to start out. Damn, I should have gone with Bell. Look, I was considering because we were just do Psychic. Oh, well. At least we don't have any, like, type weaknesses with Celine. So that's nice. Boom Burst! You outsped me? Huh. Not that it did you any good. Ferrothorn! Ooh. Alright. Uh, Brick Break. Oh, it's gonna take a second one. Iron Barbs, it's basically rough skin. Using payback. Sling, you're actually getting hurt a bit here. I'm not sure, but I think the trainers on this... Oh, no, of course they can be rebound. I forgot oh, about the match call thing. I was like, I think you can rebattle them. Unlike most trainers, it's like, oh, but wait, you actually can rebattle most trainers. Totally forgot. Executor! Alright, Sling, you're not going to be at the front of the party for very long. But at least you get a whole battle in, like, four Pokemon. That's nice. Ow. Alright, Selene. Well, at least we're going to finish up... Oh, the Warrior Coil didn't even kill Exeggutor. Damn, that's unfortunate. That would have been cool. Tan growth for her last Pokemon. We will counter with. Oh, uh, wait, Tan growth? Okay, that's gonna be pure grass. Our best. We're gonna use Ada Work. Alright, lady. Flare Blitz! Beautiful. Oh, 
All that level 73 goodness. I lost, but I had a blast. We'll spell again sometime. Well, we will, but first of all, uh, I guess... No, we'll put Zack at the front, because... I don't want to do general, because we just did a lot of general last episode. But they're, And they're both level 72, so that works out for me. Thanks to my dad's guard shop, I was able to achieve 20 consecutive wins. It's one thing to enjoy leisurely battles, but real battles can be a severe trial. Truly strong trainers sometimes must be prepared to choose Pokemon that can win rather than their favorite Pokemon. I'm very careful about selecting the moves to teach my Pokemon. Of course, my favorite move is Hidden Power. It's an obvious choice for experts like me. To survive in battles here, it's not enough to gain strength in the ordinary ways. But there's Super Training! It's an effective method of tr making your Pokemon stronger. You're right. So we got some shops here. Uh, well, I guess move tutors. So in BP, which you earn by doing well in the battle mason, you can exchange it to learn some moves. So, you know, cheap selection here. Of these, honestly, I, I kind of like Electrobe. I don't know if it's actually good, but as a concept, I think the Electrobe is a really cool move. Let's see, what do you have? All right, we got another move tutor. Some different moves. It looks like it was more moves overall. And then for our third one here, you want to take a bet? Yeah, it's another move tutor. These are the moves that are slightly more interesting to me compared to the other ones, and also more expensive. Outrage, superpower, gunk shot, god damn. Hey, look at Typer Voice. What was that? I was super... It's a man time! That's cool. Welcome, welcome! Another move tutor! Oh, Giga Drain. Man. Zach, it would have been nice if you could have learned that early in the game. But no, I had to keep... I would have had to keep him as a low tad. So like level 30 or something to know Giga Drain. Like, that's so dumb. There are people who are itching to battle on this beach, too. Battle Chandelaines are here visiting from the Kalos region now. They used to live in Hoenn, so it's like visiting home for them. I hear the Battle Maze and started in a shack that was around here. Well, I don't know much about that. But I do know the camera's changing once again. Haha. <laughs> Ugh. What a stifling place. This is just the time for a cool victory in Pokemon Battle to refresh me. I'm a poison type expert. Why don't you have a thrilling battle with me? Sure, although I don't think Zach's the one we want to start out with, but oh well. We can always swap out after we beat his first Pokemon. First boy, Antoine. Now see, they have like, I think it's three or four trainers on this island that say like what their type are going to be before you battle them. I do wish they could have been somewhere like every day they swap out for different type of trainers. That would have been a really cool concept. Unfortunately, that's not how things work here. It's just these same trainers each day. Ooh, that did not do great. Using Sludge Bomb, which is scary for me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to use Super Waterfall, though, because I know Toxic Crooks can have an ability that where water moves are not great to use against them. Looks like we're okay, though. Alright, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and switch out for Bell. And we're just going to start using Psychic. Yes, give me your levitation abilities. It is amazing being able to fly. Just be being near you. Dragalgy. Kind of a fan of this. It's an interesting idea. Uh, water dragon Pokemon based off of algae. It's actually really cool. No, wait. Is it water dragon or is it poison dragon? I think it's poison dragon. Oh, of course it is. This guy's poison dragon. Duh. 
It's a cool idea. I'm a fan. A uh, scolipede, yes! Love scolipede. Another really cool bug from the Unova region. Which unfortunately we won't be able to use in Black or Black 2, or White or White 2, whichever one we end up playing. Because I've already used it. I can't believe my poison type Pokemon lost. We won't lose next time. Yeah, you tell yourself that, buddy. Why we have this kind of nasty sand on this island, I don't know. This is, what, this is supposed to be a resort, so what the hell, guys? Holy moly. Fucking treasure trove in here. I'm the custodian here at the Battle Resort. All I do is take the trash out in the morning. I don't have much to do. That stuff over there is just some junk that I picked up while I was cleaning. Go on and take anything you think you could use. I fucking will. We got an HP up. An iron. Calcium. Starting to get the pattern here. Carbos? Yeah, yeah. I guess vitamins are trash for this old man. Alright, I see you. Zinc. What's this last one gonna be? PP pee -pee up? No, protein. And then we got some sparkles! Gengarite. What the hell? That was weird. The other day when I was swimming, I suddenly heard a splash. Something fell into the water. But there was nothing around me. No ship. No flying Pokemon. Nothing. Just the vast spread of the sea. I wonder what it was. I don't know, but that kind of tells me, do I need to go look in the water here? Is there something hidden in the water? Hello. Where... It's a baby Mantike! Level 45, holy shit. It's got an interesting evolution method. You have to, I don't remember what level it has to be at, but it has to hit a certain level, I think, and have a Remo Raid in the party, and then it'll evolve into Mantine. That's actually super cool. Because they they're going off of the whole symbiotic relationship thing. And I like that concept a lot. It's a lot better than Trade X Pokemon. Ugh. Well, guys, I didn't find anything of water, but, you know, maybe maybe another time. The blue sea and the white beach. What a lovely place. I'd love my fairy-type Pokemon to go wild to their heart's content. Would you care to help me? Sure, kid. I appreciate it. Now, please brace yourself. Now, this would be a battle where General would fucking murder everything with Iron Tail. Because for some reason, fairies are weak to steal. I'm just like, okay. I mean, I'll take it, but okay. It's other weakness we do not have. That would be poison. Surf! Ooh. Oh, critical hit. Okay. I was thinking, like, I was actually expecting that Granbo to live. But the crit helped out. Nice. Sending in a zoomer roll next. Oh, we can energy ball that guy. I wonder why these chose these types for trainers to be on the sound. Like, why grass, poison, and fairy? I don't know. Like, I don't. Not that I'm arguing against them, but I'm curious why they chose those specific types. Fairy, I think, makes sense because fairy was not originally in Generation 3. So I like being able to have this little uh, showcase. But why grass and poison? I mean, there's not... I mean, maybe because the three of these types are three of the types that are not used at all by important traders in the uh, Hoenn region. Like, nobody uses grass types, and nobody uses poison. Well, it's not as a dedicated type for them. But there is other types like that as well that they don't have. Like, where's ice? 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. Glacia is ice, duh, of course. Uh, but, um, trying to think of another one real quick. Is there? Oh, we don't have a psychic type trainer. There, psychic. No, we do. Fuck. Tate and Liza. I forgot about that. There's got to be something I'm forgetting. There has to be. Because eight gym leaders, and then four elite four. Arguably, Steven is steel and rock. Oh, bug type. There we go. I knew there had to be one. At least one more. But then we might, maybe we'll meet another bug type trader on the side and be like, well, shit, there it is. Oh. Oh, okay, Zach, yes. Keep attacking, please. Also, ground type's not used by anybody. I guess you... Steven? Steven's like steel, rock, and ground. He's really just combines it all together. He just likes old stuff. I sort its light screen and then it's save up my brick break. This is a really rude fight right here. Oh my god, fuck this wiggly tough. No! Alright, we're gonna switch out because this is annoying. We're gonna send in a female Pokemon so they can't keep doing this shit. Bell. No, General. General, fuck it up. Three damage. Congratulations. Now you die. Unless you avoid the attack! God damn, he was a tanky little shit. Or she, rather. It's regrettable that we lost, but the rippling waves here will wash away such a feeling. Don't know if that's how it works, but alright. What the fuck? Oh, uh, we've seen it eight times. Probably tentacle, I would guess. Nope, it's a cruel. Yeah, close enough. Looker! You. I want to ask you something. Where... Where am I? Uh, you're at the Battle Resort. Battle Resort? It's a battle place, yet also a resort. I don't get it. Hey, what happened to you? You're absolutely soaked to the skin. Even in a tropical place like Hoenn, if you're soaked like that, you'll catch cold. Oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. I guess I have no other choice. Come to my cottage. Hmm. Well, that's weird. I saw a building, though. Yeah, I want to go look at it. Oh, never mind. We can't get there from here. Yay! Hello! I'm traveling around the whole region by bike! Do you have a bike too? Wow, that's a Rydell bike! It looks very cool! Maybe I should buy one too. There is our third and final person that we have to talk to in order to unlock both bicycles in the game. So now we can go back to Marvel City Talk to Rydell and we'll be able to have both bikes. Hello, would you like to change the music and enjoy a different atmosphere? Sure. Did you like it? If you want to change the music again, let me know. I'm the daycare lad. 
It's my job to help take care of other po trainers, precious Pokemon. If you want to raise your Pokemon, please go inside and talk to my big sister. So the whole region has two uh, breeding places. Nur nursery centers? I forgot what they're called. Daycares. Okay. There it is. I don't actually don't know where that lady took that guy. Maybe up here somewhere. Uh, are you challenging me to a battle knowing I'm a ground type Pokemon user? Yo, what's up? Start battle already! Oh, yeah, it's this bug type Pokemon user. He's rude and kind of scary. Uh, uh, uh unfortunately, I've already promised a battle with him, right? Yeah. That's right. Let's start a battle! Wait. Now you're battling me? We might... You know what? I might have figured out why we fight these types. Because that guy's ground, or this guy's ground, and that other guy was bug. I may have cracked the code. I might be an idiot for not figuring it out sooner. There's a distinct possibility. Ooh, double edge! Come on, Zack, wake up! Nah, you're done. <sighs> but when that fairy girl didn't put you to sleep, Zack. Uh, I guess in that case, we're gonna send in... Bell? A new magical leaf, I guess? Oh, the sand! All the leaves. If this was the anime, the leaves and the sand would have canceled each other out. Which makes no sense. Pepow it unkilled itself. Nice. Ow. So you get a Nidoking King next? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that guy. Love it. Gastrodon, water ground type. Pretty cool guy. I like him. He's a bit of a sea slug. Or maybe just, just a slug. I don't... I don't know. I like him. That's all I need to know. That's all I care about. Alright, what do you have left? No more Sandstorm. Awesome. Ooh, Garchomp. Oh, that's unfortunate for you, sir. Moon Blast. Thank you, you saved me. Oh, something happens again. Help me again. If you're too scared of my bug type Pokemon, I'll battle with another trainer instead. Yeah! Hey, you and your Pokemon look cool. Now be my bug type Pokemon's warm up, will ya? I mean, I can certainly warm them up, but I don't think you'll like my method. Crustal, though. Bug Rock, alright. Ava, lead us up and go with the Earthquake. Ooh, Shell Smash. Lowers its defenses, but raises its attack. And speed. Uh, Competitive-wise, a lot of people give their Pokemon a White Herb and then use Shell Smash, because White Herb will immediately heal you of when your stats go down. So it's pretty much a free speed attack and special attack up when you do that. 
Not a bad strat. Livani! <gasps> so Waddle's fully evolved form. I'm a fan. I like Livani. Livani and Scolipede. Two top tier bug type Pokemon. And they're both from Gen 5. Unfortunately, <laughs> he wanted me to give us Pokemon a warm up. So I did. Ow, that hurt a lot. Probably won't be able to do that one more time. So again, Caesar next. It's gonna be real bad for our fire moves. He's not gonna like this. Of course, I guess Lee Bunny was also quad weak to fire. Grass bug. So again, Ninjask. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna swap at this point though. Let's go for. You know what? General. Get back out there. There we go. Ah, oh, y'all are strong. Should have bowed a ground type trainer. But I won't lose tomorrow. I'll get you for this. I do think though they they can only battle out once per day. These are some whismers. What's up? Will you come see the Battle Resort's famous whismer show? Sure. Yay! I'm going to get all fired up. Okay, whismer. Everyone, gather round. The whisper that you will be following today is... Ta-da! The whisper with the cute little hands. There's a big mushroom. All right, let's start. Okay, find the whisper that I asked you to follow. Uh, I think it's this one, but I'm not entirely sure. I know I blinked a couple times and I might have missed a movement or two, but let's see. You are incorrect. I'm sorry. Damn. That makes the grand finale of our whisper show. Thank you, one and all. Well, shit. Maybe somebody else will do better than I did. Good luck. Look at how the whisper move. Looking at them makes me feel like dancing. <laughs> you really like dancing, don't you? I mean, I guess they do. You should let your kid dance. I usually keep my cool. I'm not going to feel the blood pumping through my veins here. This area is always hot, so you can have hot battles anytime you want. The person who created this battle resort has great taste. Oh, don't tell the fans of the Battle Frontier that. Have you seen the sign? The better resort is still popular, but there's a plan to make it a more special and robust facility called the Battle Frontier. Yeah, people really didn't like that. They just felt like it was a, a stupid tease. It's like, why would you not just give it to us? Which... Honestly, I get it. They're not wrong. Oh my, you're a trainer, aren't you? And you came all the way out here. I live a life free from worldly cares here. Just raising berries as a diversion. Here, I think I'll give you some of these berries. 
I hear that strong traders sometimes use them. Grab a berry. If you come again tomorrow, I'll give you whatever is right. I'm going to win a hundred battles in a row of the Battle Mason. But I'm not very good yet. So, I'll win a hundred times in a row in my place, okay? I don't think that's how that works. That gentleman is a famous trainer in the country that he hails from. It seems like he's quite taken with you, kid. Really? Have we met? Um... I don't know Japanese. I have no idea what he just said. But I'm sure it's a hint to something, and now I feel like I need looks up to just give me a short bit as I uh, look up the battle resort. <laughs> or maybe there's not? I don't see anything about this person in... Oh, here we go. Uh, in English versions, this guy speaks Japanese, while in Japanese and non-English European version, he speaks English. This guy says, I see just... I see. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not a run-of-the-mill trainer. I recommend that you keep on training and then compete in the world's best at the Pokemon World Championships. Which, the Pokemon World Championships, is uh, a real-life tournament. Uh, they, they do TCG, they do the video games... Uh, and they have, like, tournaments every year that competitive people can take part in, which is pretty cool. I would probably say it's one of the first esports. This place is the best! In addition to the beast surrounding the island, there's even a Pokemon daycare! Okay, don't get too excited. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Hello. You! So you really came. Blast it! Then I guess I've just got to do it. No! It's too dangerous, baby! It's fine, darling. I'll take care of this. You just take this chance to get away. What are you talking about, baby? I couldn't possibly leave you here! Didn't we make a promise to each other? We're supposed to survive together! What have I stumbled in on? Darling. If we're gonna get caught anyway, let's get caught together. I will never leave you here alone. Whatever punishment awaits us for betraying our teams, we'll face it together. No need to worry about that. Y you! But why? Team Magma and Team Aqua both. We've all changed. And all because of this champion next to me. Yeah, that's how it is. Oh, I guess he's our regular grunts. I thought that was Cordy for a second there, but I don't know well. No one's gonna come chasing after a couple runaways like you anymore. Then why? How did you find us? I know how you think, but this kid just wanders into any old building he sees and talks to whoever he wants and takes whatever he wants, so really this was only a matter of time. Our leader Maxi came here too. I guess he had some reason for that. He never misses a detail after all. I'm sure he knew the two of you were here. And our Archie's just the same. He's even testing himself just the flying trainers of the battle mason, taking a good hard look at who he is. I don't think he's bothered at all about some runaway like you. Wow, that's actually kind of insulting. So that's how it is, huh? You know, to be honest, I came here to bring you back with me, but looks like I shouldn't have bothered. Just take good care of her, you hear? Y you mean... Well, oh, wonders never cease. To think that little Ms. Magma and I would arrive at the same conclusion. But that's how it is. Oh. Yeah, you're free. Be as happy as you can be with that fellow of yours. You busybody. You bet I will. So, uh... A little bit of Romeo and Juliet there, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm a bit overwhelmed by all this. Could you come back a little later? Sure. Look, sorry, but can my mind's still whirling, so can we do this later? Yeah, no problem. Oh, a couple dragon tamers over here. Oh, Lucario. 
If you are treated, will you show me how you're raising your Pokemon with loving care? All right. Uh, I guess I'll show you Adelbert. Oh, this Blaziken was level five when you met. Right now it's level 74. You've raised it quite well. I feel your love for this Pokemon. You clearly make an effort to travel with your Pokemon and raise them. This is the token of gratitude for showing me your great love for your Pokemon. Footprint Ribbon. I think you get those for max happiness? The fantastic Footprint Ribbon shows the love you've given to Blaziken. The number of footsteps about shows the amount of love. Thank you for showing me the wonderful bond between you and your Pokemon. Or maybe it's like steps taken with it in our party? I don't know. You look like you'd be good at Pokemon battles. This belongs to someone like you. Oh, so now, uh, before this, uh, people that were fought at our uh, secret base were uh, capped at level 50. But now, now it's any level. Any level goes. The level release is a decoration you can use in your secret base. If you set it up and activate it in your base, you'll be able to negate any level limitations in battle. A serious battle in a secret base with no limits. Don't you get excited just imagining it? I mean, no. I don't care about secret bases. I've collected 197 BP. Just three more and I can change my Drudigan's ability. Aim for the Pokemon World Championships. Aim for the world. I'll conquer the world with dragon type Pokemon. Good luck with that. Poor man. It seems he has amnesia. You again. I apologize for my actions earlier. The truth of the matter is, I have no idea in the world what I am doing here. Or even who I am. The first thing which I can remember is awakening here on this beach. Baffled, lacking awareness of the circumstances that brought me here. And at that moment, you appeared. I feel as though I have some duty that I should be accomplishing. But of it, I can remember nothing. Please, pardon me for going on about myself. In fact, I feel quite uneasy. Of course, I must thank you for finding me. Autonite. Okay. I don't know why he has that. I found it in the pocket of my overcoat. It was the only thing I had on me. I do not know if it will prove worth anything, but I'm glad to give it to you. So that's Looker. Uh, he's appeared in a few different games. He just likes to show up in the post game and just like, you know, have a little interaction. Uh, he's in at least four of the games. I guess I can't surf though. I was trying to see if I can get those other huts, but I guess not. I know he's in Platinum. I'm not sure if he's in Base Summon and Pearl. Uh, he's in, obviously, you know, Alpha Sapphire and Mega Ruby. He's in X and Y. And he's in the uh, Alola games. All four of them, I believe. Which I guess technically, you know, just adds more appearances for him. Uh, before we end things off, we're going to deposit a couple Pokemon here in the PC. Doesn't really matter who. But uh, Looker, he's a cool guy. A lot of people have drawn comparisons to him to the uh, Tenth Doctor in Doctor Who. Um, this hut with the grunts. Did you guys have enough time to get over your problems? We've been awaiting you, champion. You sure kept us waiting, champ. We spent a long time thinking things through after what happened last time. In the end, we both decided that we should go back to our own teams. Team Aqua and Team Magma. We decided to each go back to our own teams. And we were thinking maybe we could help mediate things between them. Even a couple of grunts like us have managed to find a way to understand one another. Seems like there has to be a way for everyone to recognize one another and move forward. But... We were only able to dream of something like that because both teams have changed already. And I think that's all thanks to what you've done. And so, that's why we hope to ask you for a favor, champion. That's right. It's something we could only ask you to do. Uh... What? I want you to take my camera out. Will you accept it from a Team Magma grunt like me? I raised this camera up because I looked up to Maxi so much. But I want to leave its future in your hands instead. Sure. Nickname time. Uh, it's a female camera, so we're gonna go with 
Ah. Uh, you know what? Darla. Thank you very much. Please take good care of Camerupt. It loves to run more than anything, so I hope you'll play with it a whole lot. I want you to take my Sharpedo. Will you take a Pokemon from a Team Aqua grunt like me? I chose to raise the Sharpedo because Archie was my idol. But now, I think I'd rather leave its future in your hands instead. Sure. And nickname. Uh, it's also a female. Let's go with... Oh, God. Is that really the, fir the first thing that came to mind? I don't want to do that. Let's do something else. This this name sounds fun. Ruth and the Sharpedo. Listen, man, I don't... I don't know. Thanks for this. I'll leave Sharpedo in your care. Riding around on this fellow's back while surfing. It's the best. So there you go. And now we have a use for that Sharpedo Knight... Sharpedo Knight in uh, Camera Update that we got from Archie and, um, and Maxi. So that's cool. With that, we're going to go ahead and retrieve our true teammates. And this will be the end of today's episode. I didn't really think we would get to the Battle Maze, and I wasn't sure, but uh, we'll definitely be able to do that in the next episode. Just... Oh, hey, they have some berries. Let's take those. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have an item that I just never took away from you? All right, you. Give me that iron plate. All right. With that, everybody, we are going to go ahead and end things here for to... Ew, what the hell? End, end, th end here... Th end things here for today! See you all next time. Bye, everyone.